Is solar power in New Zealand really worth it? Well, let's find out. I had these solar panels installed on my roof recently and I just got my first power bill. So let's find out in real time if it's actually worth it getting solar. Brace yourselves. Oh, oh, okay, far out. Okay, well, let me get down off the roof, show you the figures, show you the system and show you how much I'm saving. Let's start with system specs and I have 9.7 kilowatts of solar panels on my roof and they are fed via cables to this. This is an inverter. Its job is to convert DC electricity into AC electricity. It's the electricity that we all use in our homes. That's the flavor of electricity the network uses. That's normal electricity. Now I opted to go without a battery in this system. Now my inverter has connections for a battery if I want to put one in in the future and I might do that after winter. Stay tuned, hit subscribe by the way because at the end of the year I'm going to do another follow up video. But right now not having a battery works for me because I spend a lot of time at home during the day when the sun is up. So at daytime I send excess electricity to the grid and at night time I buy it back. Basically the grid is my battery. That's meant the price has come down of the install a little bit. It's $21,000 for my install. Now that did cost a little more than expected at first largely because one I had to move my power meter from the inside it used to be here all the way to the outside and this is a requirement of the local lines company they dictated I had to do that so I did it it added about two grand to the install the next extra cost was well you see this beautiful new switchboard I mean look at that isn't that a work of art look how it looked before yep ancient old asbestos fuse oh it's horrible look how ancient it was like a fire hazard so yeah I factored having this new switchboard installed I factored that into the quote the electricians knew about that they also added a lot of power points around the house when they were here that added some extra cost because let's face it 1960s houses they never have enough power points plus they also added this this is a hot water cylinder timer so what happens during the day at about 8 30 in the morning my hot water cylinder switches on and at about 4 30 at night it switches off so all my hot water it's free like I haven't paid for hot water in weeks it's freaking fantastic like why don't you do that why doesn't everyone do this I don't get it one important thing to keep in mind though is that like most households I can only send five kilowatts maximum back to the grid so sure I've got almost 10 kilowatts of generation capability on my roof but I can only send five kilowatts back to the grid and you might be thinking whoa isn't that just a big bottleneck haven't you made a massive mistake no because as you'll see on my roof my solar system is split into two sections so we've got that nice north facing chunk of solar panels there they get the morning and midday sun and then go over to the western side that gets all that afternoon and evening sun like right now it's like 7 p.m in the evening and we are making four kilowatts of electricity another good thing about having two sun facing sections on your roof is that it evens out the power during the day so sure you may not get that 9.7 kilowatts peak very often but you do get more electricity overall and that's really important because let's face it winter is coming but this is the thing that matters. What's the payback time? Before we can figure out the payback time, we need to figure out what's my average power consumption and what's my average power bill each month. So in the 12 months before I had panels installed, my average power consumption was 647 units of electricity per month. That's 647 kilowatt hours. Now that is just a little bit above the average for the average New Zealand household, even though this is just me rattling around by myself in this house, all by myself crying alone. That's because I'm charging electric cars all the time. For my job, I do car reviews. Now, that works out to be on average $220 per month in the 12 months leading up to before I got solar panels. After getting my solar panels installed that first month of full solar I increased my power consumption quite a lot. Yeah I made use of this system let's just say that I got my money's worth. So I increased my power consumption for the month of November. I used 1179 units of electricity in the month of November. Yeah let's just say I charge a lot of cars. And that meant that if I were to pay the average New Zealand power price per kilowatt hour, that would have cost me just shy of 400 bucks. Guess how much it cost? Here it comes. Here is the moment. Are you ready? It cost me a total of $13. $13 for 1.2 megawatt hours of electricity. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. And man, November was a cloudy month. <laughs> this is, okay, now I apologize this video took so long to create. The plus side is that I've got another power bill. 
I used a lot less over December because it was holidays and I wasn't charging as many cars. That being said, I did use still a fair amount of electricity, considering it's one occupant in the house. I used 494, just shy of 500 units of electricity, so just below the average. And my power bill was, for the month of December, here it comes. I've never seen that in my life. Account and credit by $149. Now I know what you're thinking that, oh Gavin, you must be getting some sort of mates rates at Ecotricity or maybe you've got some special NASA equipment. No, I pay the same power price as everyone else. I don't get special deals. This is off the shelf componentry that everyone else is putting on their roof. This is what solar is really like. It's that good. Now even though I'm only getting paid about 13 cents or so per unit of electricity, I sell back to the grid, I'm selling so much that it's paying not only for my own power consumption, it's paying for all my daily lines fees and lines charges that all the network operators in New Zealand keep dipping their fingers into. It's paying for all of that as well. So now you know my system specs, you know my average usage, you know my power consumption, and factoring in that I'm probably gonna produce about 50% less electricity in winter, it still means that I'm going to be saving about $2,690 every year, which means my payback time for this system is, drum roll please, 7.8 years. Now that's not bad. Some people watching this, you'll have a shorter payback time. Some people may have a longer payback time, but this is pretty much exactly what I expected. However, it gets better. I can decrease that payback period by simply increasing the amount of solar electricity I consume. And I'm gonna do that. Also, the payback period will decrease if the average New Zealand electricity price increases, which means, basically, if I increase my power consumption by 20%, which I'm doing, and if the average New Zealand power bill goes up by $10 per month, which the Commerce Commission says will happen as of April this year, then my payback period <laughs> is gonna be I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty sweet. Now, I know there will be people watching this saying, oh, those solar panels have got to be replaced after eight years. You know, they're the same sort of people that says, oh, those electric car batteries have to be replaced after two years. You know, it's absolute nonsense. The fact is that there's an efficiency guarantee with these solar panels on my roof, these Longy brand ones, that is 25 years. 89% efficiency, 25 years. And that means that these panels are going to last beyond 25 years, possibly 30, 40 years plus, which means that although they will degrade in efficiency over time, much like me, they will still keep on going. So unless they get hit by a meteorite or something, they're probably gonna outlast me. The next question you might be asking is, where do I go from here? What's my next step? Well, shop around, get some quotes, contact a local solar installer or three and ask them to recommend a system for you. They'll look at your power bill, they'll look at your consumption, they'll give you payback periods, they'll give you a total quote, they'll recommend the right size system for you. My only advice is to get more panels on your roof than you need. And that is because the price of solar panels has fallen. Now, in the past, I mistakenly said that the price of solar panel manufacturing has fallen by 80% in the last decade. I apologize, I was wrong. It's actually now 90% according to Everything Electric. I saw their podcast. That is staggering. So if you got a quote for solar, maybe six, seven years ago, and it just didn't seem like it made sense at the time, get a fresh quote. Basically, of all the people I've spoken to, I've not spoken to anyone who regrets getting solar. I certainly don't. My only regret is that I didn't do it sooner. Why didn't I do this a year? year ago. This is, it feels like this is some sort of secret, but this is just normal technology that you and I can buy today. <laughs> I don't get it. It feels like the cheat codes for the matrix or cheat codes for life or something. I've got free power. Now, how things look at the end of the year once we've got through winter, that may change. I may revisit this and maybe put a battery in there, but right now the system looks good. I'm very, very happy with the savings I'm making. My only thing to suggest is to shop around and get some good quotes from good suppliers or good installers, because I've never heard of anyone regretting solar installs, but I have heard of some regretting the installer they used. I have no affiliation to them, but I used Endless Energy, and as you can see, I mean, what a work of art. Look at that, love the right angles. Quality gear, really intelligent, fun guys to have around. They did works of art. Honestly, I can't speak highly enough of endless energy, but shop around, get some quotes. Go with a reputable firm, but once you get solar, I promise you, you will not regret it. You will not look back. You will only regret that you didn't do it sooner. Get solar.